to show you some tips that I use at home for recycling and reducing our footprint. These are my kids and they're going to be my assistants today. So often we start when the kids come home from school, we go through their homework folders. And Josie, do you know what we do with these papers? If there's a blank stack on them, we put it in the scrap box, but if there's both sides on we put it in the recycle bin. That's great. Why don't you go ahead and put them in the recycle bin? Yeah, those can be recycled because there's oh, a scrap bin. Those are scrap paper, which the kids will often use for making paper airplanes, making artwork, or writing in their grocery list. Hi, so we're now over in my office area, which is right off the kitchen, and a couple of things that make it really easy for us to recycle is to have two types of bins underneath the desk area. This one is labeled recycle, so it's really easy to get to the, um, that area and put paper, which we have a lot of in this area. And then the second is labeled trash, which we use as well. Now, our actual recycling and garbage bins are not that far away, but you want to make it as easy as possible. The other thing we have is to keep all the envelopes and stuff that come in the mail so we can use them for things like grocery list or to-do list. Maybe I can show you where those are all kept. Oh, and there's a lot of them, as you can see, so those add up. We also have underneath here the area for scrap paper, so we can do art projects later and use those. And that keeps us pretty organized over here. So over in our kitchen, we have two types of receptacles for our trash and recycling. And they're right side by side. So the first one is trash, and the second one is recycling, which is mint, paper, plastic, cans, glass. And it makes it very easy. Underneath our sink, we keep a lot of bags, a lot of other specialty things that need to be recycled. Uh, you can see we have glass bottles for our milk that we take back to the local grocery store here in town. We also save these types of plastic containers, which can be taken down to the main transfer station and also recycled there. Some people have curbside recycling, and they may be able to uh, put those in, but you really need to look at what your recycler uh, hauler takes and not takes, so you need to check that. This is our box where we save all kinds of plastic bags from bagels, bread, and tortillas, everything that we can, we just save these plastic bags and we can use them for all kinds of things. But we also um, can recycle these at the bag to bag bins, which are located both at Pack and Save and Quality Foods, our local grocery store. So it's important to save these as much as possible. Um, we also don't buy any Ziploc bags and try not to reuse, try not to use plastic bags without first reusing things like this that we accumulate. I mentioned that we use a lot of plastic bags over and over again that we use to get for our bread, our bagels, tortillas, things that we've already bought. There's plenty of plastic bags to go around instead of using Ziploc. With that come those little ties or closures at the top of the bag. So we save all those and use them in our kitchen drawer and we will twist these. So this is our reusable junk drawer, if you will, that has a lot of things. Also rubber bands come from so much produce and other things like that that we can get a lot of usage from those things too. So they all add up and we've made a little home for everything. I think the key is making sure you have a spot for reusing and recycling so that you can use it for your home. Well, I'm trying to give you some tips on how easy it is to be green in your home and it, it really can be. It's not a lot of work and you just set up things to make it convenient for you. Lots of bins, recycling bins, just a home, a home and a place for everything use again instead of thinking of it as a one-time only use that gets disposed of and it can work for an entire family so we've taken that approach here and it's gone really well for us and we hope you can consider leaving green for you too. For more information like the Wayne Green Team on Facebook or you can go to our website at cityofwayne.org slash green.